Hi, I'm Don Archer. Welcome to the Tow Channel where we break down the complex business of towing into small bite-sized pieces that you can consume at your leisure. Today we're going to be talking about how to properly apply for and receive title to a car. But before we do that, I've got to tell you about the Baltimore Tow Show. The Tow Channel took a little trip to Baltimore for the 24th annual American Towman Expo. It was awesome. We were welcomed with open arms like a mother welcoming home a long lost child to her bosom. Downtown Baltimore is a beautiful destination without the Toe Show, but with it, it was amazing. We were exhausted every night and back at it again at dawn. I swear we walked 10 miles every day. We enjoyed every minute from the classes and demonstrations, state-of-the-art equipment, to the tricked out trucks and the award ceremony in the Grand Ballroom. It was non-stop. The National Aquarium, the Hard Rock Cafe, the shopping, and the water taxis kept us busy when we weren't hooping it up with the fellow tourists. But what we most enjoyed was the camaraderie. The company, the ability to talk to hundreds of other tourists and business owners who shared the same work experiences and trials as we did was worth the price of the entire trip. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We learned so much. My thanks also go out to the founder of the American Towing Magazine, Steve Kalitri, for his gracious generosity, and to the American Towing Magazine editor, Brendan Dooley. Thanks for inviting us. We couldn't have asked for a better time, and if you ever get a chance to do this, you need to take advantage of that opportunity. Okay, why would anyone not pick up their car? Maybe they forgot where they parked it, didn't know it was missing, or it could be that it just wasn't worth a darn. Whatever the reason, you are required to follow certain rules before you can dispose of it. Every state has specific statutes that must be followed before a tour is allowed to dispose of a vehicle. The rules may be different in every state, but the basics include tow authorization, reclamation availability, notification, documentation, and submission. Tow authorization. To begin with, a tower must have authorization to tow a vehicle in the first place. Many people believe that towers can randomly choose to tow a vehicle and impound it without the consent of the owner. This is not true. For a law-abiding tower to legally tow a vehicle, he must have authorization. Where does a tower get authorization to tow a car? If you illegally park your car on properly marked private property and the property owner calls for a tow truck, that tower has authorization to tow your car. If you abandon your car on the public right of way, law enforcement has a legal right to authorize a tow truck to remove it. If you call for a tow truck to tow your car because it needs to be taken to the repair shop, you are authorizing the tow. Roadside, an abandoned car is a safety hazard, and in a private spot, it's a nuisance. The laws were put in place to allow law enforcement to remove a vehicle when it becomes a hazard, or in the case of property owners, when it encroaches upon the free use of their property. There are other scenarios where a tow truck operator can tow a car, but it cannot be done legally without authorization. Reclamation. After the vehicle is towed, you must allow the owner the opportunity to reclaim their vehicle. This usually happens within a few hours to a few days. Most states require that the tower have reasonable hours of operation to make the job of reclaiming a towed vehicle less difficult. After the owner shows proof of ownership and has paid all the fees owed to the towing company, they can then remove their vehicle from the impound lot. Notification. If the owner fails to reclaim their vehicle, you must follow your state's rules and notify them and anyone else with a financial interest in that vehicle that you have possession of it and the steps that they need to take to reclaim it. You must provide notification within the required time frame that explains the charges and possible outcome if they fail to pay for and pick up the property in a timely manner. Those to notify include the lien holder, the insurance company, and all named on the title. You must also notify law enforcement if the vehicle was towed without their authorization. Some states will require you to notify law enforcement even if they authorize the tow. Documentation. Notification must be documented and you do that through certified mail. If any of the folks with a financial interest in the vehicle fail to sign for notification, which means they didn't receive notification, you may be required to find them through other means, which may include contacting the Department of Revenue in your state to request information. If you've attempted to notify everyone with an interest and can show documentation in the form of unclaimed certified mail, you will have sufficient evidence that an attempt was made. Submission. After you've been authorized to tow, made reclamation easily available, notified everyone with a financial interest and documented what you've done every step of the way, you must then wait the required time period specified by your state before you can submit your paperwork to the Department of Revenue. After that, all you have to do is wait. Oh, 
you're still here. Well, hey, you probably have a lot of questions that haven't been answered yet, like what form do I use in my state? Or how long does it take to get title to a car in my state? Well, in Missouri, the Department of Revenue handles everything having to do with motor vehicles. You need to find out what agency in your state deals with abandoned vehicles and administers the rules that towers must fi follow to get a title to a car. From then on, ask a bunch of questions. Don't ever be afraid to ask questions. That's the only way you're gonna learn anything. If you have any questions for me, send me an email, hit me on Twitter, or a comment down here at the bottom of YouTube. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching the Toe Channel.